Ah. Hi, I'm Massimo Capra, and I travel the world in search of good food and interesting places. Today I'm in Zerma, Switzerland. This place is very well known for its gastronomy, in particular, raclette cheese and Ibex goat. I'm going to meet with my guide Amide, and later I'm going to meet with Chef Claudio. He's going to teach me how to cook Ibex goat. But hey, how can I not be happy with good food and scenery like this? No, not that. That! I have not met Hamede yet, but he did tell me on the phone to just keep my eyes and ears wide open. I didn't know what he really meant, so I got myself a huge bar of Swiss chocolate and walked through an older part of Zermatt on my way to find them. Hey Hamede! Hey Massimo! Hey, come over! Okay! Hey Massimo, welcome in Zermatt. Well, thank you very much. But let's do it the right way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sunday, welcome Sunday. in Zermatt. Thank you. Mm. Well, I'm there. You know, I had a great walk around the town. I had a nice big chunk of chocolate. You know, but I, I'm, I'm just excited to see what other food is available here. Well, you know, Switzerland is well known sure, with chocolate, yeah. cheese, but also watches and cheese. Wait yeah. a minute, watches? You can't eat those. Oh, sure not. <laughs> but you can eat cheese. Raclette you make here. You got that. You ah. got to name it. That's a raclette is fantastic. Raclette. <laughs> but, but I want to show you not only how to make the raclette, but okay. as well where the milk is coming from the cows, okay. how to make the cheese, and then how to make the raclette. That sounds to me like there is a lot of walking involved. Well, you know, sure you have to walk there, but... Uh, yeah, there's got to be some meat to eat around here, too. Oh, you're right. We got all the night here. And the one special is the Ibeck. Ooh, can you eat that? Yes. And I know a good cook as well. It's called Claudio. Claudio, Claudio okay. Claudio He's from the Hotel Pollux. He will show you how to cook a great Ibeck meal. The next morning, I met Amade at his friend's cheese shop. He wanted to show me how the great cheese is made. You have to get early, early up in the morning to make the cheese. I would say oh, around five o'clock. What do you think about that? Huh? Well, that's why I didn't become a cheesemaker. I've become a cheese eater. <laughs> <laughs> that's the right decision. <laughs> now he puts it, everything is in there. It's like have it. See how he, he grabbed it, how he got it? Basically, you can, you can make them for the cheese, that one. Right. The way down there. For the fresh, because now you want to see, you want to get the rest of the liquid out. His friend Reto gave him a glass of whey to drink. I just couldn't bear to watch it, never mind drink it. Wow, that's an acquired taste. The curds were bonded together nicely as Reto was pressing and shaping the cheese. The cheese then gets covered with a styrofoam box to maintain the proper temperature for the initial curing. From there, the cheese goes right to the storeroom. Now, I've never seen anything like this. I mean, this is playing with tradition, having a little bit of fun and still maintaining the goodness of the traditions. Amazing. I love it. I'm speechless, man. This is so beautiful. It's great. This huh? is gorgeous. Massimo, we still have to do something, huh? What do we have to do? We got uh, wine, we got chairs. No. Yeah, sure, Come but on. we have to make we have to make some raclette. Oh yes, the raclette. Yeah, but we before. better hurry. <laughs> Sunday. Let's like make Sunday. A toast. <laughs> you know me, I love cheese, and raclette is one of my favorites. Before we cut the cheese and before we make the raclette, we have to clean it. Okay. Now you can smell a little bit. Oh yes. Rockley cheese has to smell. As a very good perfume. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Now is a very important part coming. Now we have to the cut cutting. The, we cut the cheese. I can't wait to see this cheese. I'm salivating. You yeah. know? It's I'm going nuts. This is uh, it? Oh. That's now. The clean cut. Huh? The higher you have it here. Yeah. How better the heat goes on the side of the cheese. And now with one part down. Oh, oh, look at that. And then this one here, that's the religious, we call them 
Don't put that on the cheese. Put it on the sides. Look at that. That's uh, rolling. Yeah. Couple onions on. Yeah. One or two. Okay, pickles. one pickle. One pickle on there. And then what they have, what the people are, when they're eating, they like them also with the pepper. That is a true raclette. Can't wait to get into this. Yeah, but something I'm is mine. missing. Yeah, it's busy the wine. We gotta call for a waitress. Hello, 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 hello. Can you believe this guy yodels like that? Yolo, yolo, yolo. Nah, forget it. I'm not going to be able to do it ever. How does he do that? Look at that. Who's coming? Who is coming to bring us the wine? You have to ride my horse. Yeah, exactly. From the valley that there you, you go. have to drink with this great racket. Oh, Frony, you know that. Super. You made pretty good fish rock not bad huh? for, for the, the first time <laughs> yeah, that's right well fish swiss cheese is actually easy to cook oh, huh? <laughs> it's so beautiful now it's time for me to learn about the ibex which is a mountain goat amade wanted to show me exactly where they live so we rented an helicopter oh man this was going to be a thrill ride but how the heck were we going to see ibex so high up I was so mesmerized by the mountains all around us. And then, there it was, the world famous Motherhorn Mountain. Our pilot circled the Motherhorn. On one side we were in Switzerland, and on the other we were in Italy. And I had the best vantage point. I saw hikers, but no ibex yet. As it turns out, the ibex was spotted on another ridge, so we flew over the glacier and touched down to take a closer look. These guys are so good at flying their helicopters, they can land just about anywhere. Waiting for us was Sammy, an expert hunter and hiker in this area. The trail along the mountainside was very narrow, but Amade was determined to see an ibex. First we spotted a marmot, and then we all saw what we came for, an ibex goat. Just like an ibex should do. Yeah, exactly. It's sitting right on the Looking last rock. Yeah. Man, that was a beautiful morning walk. But now, it was time to meet Chef Claudio. We must have walked at least five kilometers. You know what, note to self, bring water. Thank you for Thank having you. me here. Thank you. All right, so what, you, what are you doing? Here. This is That's not it. the ibex, is it? No, it's not the ibex. Oh, okay. This is an nice lamb. Okay. I made it for us just to have a little bite to store. Oh, for good. I'm hungry. Oh. What do you know? <laughs> Delicious. Does this taste like ibex? No, not like ibex. Ibex, the taste is less stronger. It's less stronger? Less stronger, yes. It's not so much gamey. Really? But it's really darker in color. Okay. Let's get Let's cooking, go. yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that. Love it. Love it. This is great. So what do we have? It's just these ingredients over here. I mean, this is not that much. I mean, cabbage. What is that? This is Brussels, Brussels sprouts. Brussels, Brussels, Brussels sprouts. Brussels. Yeah, yes. everywhere the Brussels everywhere. sprouts. Yeah. Yes, in autumn. Okay. What else? How do we prepare this? We're going to prepare the cabbage. Yeah. We first marinate it. Marinate it? Yes. With uh, red wine, apple okay. juice, orange juice. Onions and apple. Nice. That's and then nice we graze it, slowly raise yeah. it. After we're gonna saute the Brussels sprout with some uh, bacon, some <laughs> onions. Now you're making me smile. Yeah. Okay. What about that bread over there? That's a pretzel. That bread over there, it's a Swiss answer to the pretzel. Swiss answer to the yes. pretzel. This one is made the same okay. dough. It's the same way, baked like a pretzel. But we can making sandwiches over here with eye bags. No, uh, come on. No, no, no. This is my one of my interpretation interpretation to a uh, old fashioned uh, napkin dumpling. Napkin dumpling, right? That sounds like something I would have used when I was a kid. You know what I mean? Just uh, like, hey, I give you a napkin right. dumpling. Right. Boom! You know, right. I hit them with a napkin one with course. a rock inside. Right. You know, <laughs> maybe a little brother. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> We're gonna cut it. We're gonna put add some eggs on, some uh, milk, some uh, salted onions, and some nice thyme. The eggs and milk, you soak the, the slices of bread, bread and then right. you wrap it in a napkin. Napkin, and then you poach it and in water. And then you poach it in water. Right. 
That's interesting. I want to see that. I've never seen that before. Happy to show so you. So we're going to start uh, prepping some cabbage? First we're going to marinate the cabbage. Marinate the cabbage. Yeah, right. Okay. I normally don't like when they make red cabbage uh, because they always make it bleed too much. Ah, uh, you're going to love mine. Yeah? You're going to love yours? Yeah. Okay. Well, <clears throat> yeah, well, okay. After we're going to take the core out? Yeah. That's perfect size, Moshe. Yeah, yes. I think so. It cannot be too thin. No, not Otherwise, too thin. Wow, well, not bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice, Moshe. Now the red wine. Right. Just like, Just like that. that it's perfect. That's like yes. that. Yeah, we like to be generous. Okay. So mix it all in. Ooh, this look at the color. Right? What is that anyway? Is this cranberry jam? Cranberry jam. Right. Cranberry jam. So how long does this have to marinate for? This is marinade. Does marinade overnight? Overnight? Yes. I'm not going to stay here waiting for this. Sure not. No, eh? Okay, so what do we do? Wrap it and put it away? First, we're going to have to put the apple in. Oh, the apple! All of it? Just, uh... Yes, all of it. The whole thing? Right. Season all? No. Come you're making me do all the work. You're not even drinking. You come here to have a taste of our dish, so you have to work for it. Okay. What else? After, we have to come start to cut the... The meat? Ibec, yes. Ah, the ibec. It's a nice, beautiful, big piece of ibec. It's a really low-fat meat. Yeah, I can see. It well, has almost no fat. I would be low-fat yeah, too if I was up on the mountain <laughs> jumping around between rocks. Right. <laughs> okay, let okay. me have the knife. Okay, that's easy then, yeah. Oh, look at the bone, eh? It's slightly different than a regular lamb. Does the fat taste good, nice and sweet like the lamb, or...? Uh... That's the difference. Is it? Yeah, with the game, the fat tastes really strong. Oh, okay, so then so get rid of it, yeah. So this is something I've learned. With Ibex gold, it's not like any other lamb. It's not... the fat is not good to eat, so you have to remove it. The fat is too strong. I'll bring the eggs and the milk. Good. You have uh, an, an onion, did you say? I take the time. Time? Yes. Onion Don't onion. take your time. We gotta get going. No, no, yes, we have to hurry up. But you're taking your time. I take the time. For so you don't eight, take your game. time. <laughs> so now we're gonna make the dumplings. Okay. First we're gonna cut the bread in small dices. And then in a half again? And in a half again. And then in cubes, and then like in that. Cubes, yes. That perfect. big? Yeah? That big, that's perfect. It's better not too small. Because then the bread, it sucks uh, all the milk yeah. and the eggs up. And okay. after when you poach it, it gets uh, hard like a hockey puck. All right. One um, egg is enough for that. One egg is quantity. enough? Yes, one and egg And how much, how do you measure the milk to go in there? Just about uh, three tablespoons. Three Just tablespoons, yes. that's it. So that's not very much at all. One, two, three. Wonderful, perfect. Okay, now mm. we put the... The bread in? The bread in. I'm gonna get right. you some... Uh, you trust pepper. me on this? Okay, you have no choice. Pepe? Some pepper? Pepper. Yes. Pe pe pepper. 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 Yeah. Pepper in dialect. Like that? Nice. Oh, so the, you That's don't perfect. want it to over soak, really. You just want to coat it. You have to be careful, yeah. Yeah, because if you soak it too much, it becomes liquid. Rich. That's where, you know, it's different from uh, bread pudding. That's it. Yeah, wrap pudding, the secret you soak is, it. Yeah. The secret in the good napkin, napkin dumplings yeah. is that it only gets soaked in the outside from the bread. So then when you poach it, it sticks together. But nice. in the inside, it must be stay like a bread. That's All perfect. of the liquid has been absorbed. See that? It's perfectly dry, but the bread is not, uh, the bread is not overly soaked. You see that? Yeah? That's beautiful. Look at that. This is almost dry. So we're going to put a little in the middle over put here, right? Middle, then we make a nice roll. A salami. Put it in the water to poach. Yeah. Just like that. Perfect. Yes. That's beautiful. Do you mind if I steal the right. recipe? You can use it. Can oh, I use yes. it? Okay. Perfect. We're going to roll it now. Make a nice roll. Le uova di montagna. Like that. Yeah. Perfect. What a beautiful idea. Yeah, all the foil as well. Just let it drop in the water, yes. And we'll let it roll on its own? Right. Okay. So does Perfect. it have to simmer or boil or no, it gentle? Just have to gentle, gentle. yes. Because yeah. if you overcook it, the egg it gets too dry. We're gonna make the Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. We need bacon and onion. Bacon, onion, yes. Brussels sprouts. Nice. So like that, that. Good. My knife. Your knife. 
Are we gonna cut the Brussels sprouts or we leave them No, we leave them all. We leave them all, okay. Yes, we just chop the onions. What do we put, butter or oil? Butter. Butter. Yeah, yeah, you're speaking my language. Oh, okay. I like that. You almost frowned like when I said oil. No, no, no butter. Yeah. Butter. Butter. The beginning of all good things. The perfect. Cipolla? Cipolla, then. And tell me, fuoco? Cipolla? Yeah. See? How many slices of bacon? Three slices of bacon. Three slices, okay. Yes. Two, three, four. Hey, what are you making, Massimo? I have a bacon addiction, okay? This is serious stuff. Hey, what are you doing? I got a bacon addiction too. Hey, no kidding, eh? Yeah. <laughs> bacon makes everything better. Oh, that's right. You know, Brussels sprouts, the best way to make them taste good is to add bacon. That's eh? right. That's bacon right. and butter. That's okay. Perfect. That's enough, eh? Maybe right. two more because we have a uh, guest. La Chamolie. La Chamolie. You're gonna let it cook gently. Gently cooking. Right here. Yes. That's it? Okay. That's it. Eye back. Now we go to the eye back. Eye back. Yes. Beautiful. Room temperature. Perfect. You know? Best way to cook it, right? Room Best temperature. Way. Do not take it from the fridge or freezer and put it in a frying pan. This is a uh, vegetable oil with 10% butter. Okay. Very nice. And then what do we do? Put this one down? Put this one down. Oh, smell that, eh? That's nice. Yeah. Okay. You never want to poke your meat when you're roasting it. Never stick your forks in your steaks or roast. Because all the juices will come out and make it dry. So you take a pinchers like this one. Eh? And you just grab your meal like that and you flip it. Give it a nice sear outside. Perfect, yeah, yes, absolutely. Yes, beautiful. Hey, this is solid, that's it. This is good. Like yeah, a, really I feel good. like a cow in the pasture. Yeah, yeah. good cow, good cow, huh? <laughs> Whoa, I'm not used to using these, huh? That's these nice. These perfect. These are nice. Now we're going to make the nut crust, yes. The nut crust. Well, nut crust. Look at that. Now, that's beautiful. They're Smell good bacon. Oh, perfect. Slight nice. small, right? Small, not but too strong. Not too strong, yeah. So just like that. That's perfect. Hey, wait a minute. I'm just figuring out something. Here. I've been doing all of the work here. You've been standing there talking. <laughs> That's not teamwork. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You wanted to learn how to make it. Okay. Well, I learned. I wanted to watch yes. you make it. Ah, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not teamwork here. Yeah, it's a Breadcrumb, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Okay, we put this in there, right? Okay. All of it? And pull out the, all of it. All yes. of it. There right. you go. Perfect. All the nuts? Now the nuts. There you go. Properly crushed. Perfect. Are they okay? Yeah, you want them yes. that thick, eh? That's good. All right. So sure. you have the texture of them in. Yes, of course. Uh, mix. Okay. Do we um, have to season it? No. We don't season no it. Season. No, because the, the bread, often when you gratinate yeah, the meat, yeah. it takes the juice from the meat out. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so what's missing in here? Butter. Butter? Yes. How much? Let's do the Massimo butter now. Massimo style? Yes, okay. Massimo style. So I had to prepare a crust with walnuts, bread, and butter. Of course it's going to make the meat taste good. I like that. Like that? Perfect, yes, like that. Perfecto. Okay, I like that. Okay. How long does the Ibex uh, gonna take? I'm gonna let it there for about uh, seven minutes. Seven minutes. Right. And then we're gonna rest. Not it. too hot. Not too hot. Not too hot. No. Okay. So slowly. Yes. And this one you just mix it like that, eh? Yes, that's perfect. Okay. You prepare them flat before and just put it on, right? Put it on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's nice, eh? Look how creamy that is. Yeah, that, that is, uh, you know what, I, I don't like to use it too much, but I know that this is the traditional thing to put beside a yes. wild game, like, you know, Alpen, Alpen gaming. <laughs> oh, this thing here. Look how beautiful that is. That is nice, man. Perfect. This is beautiful, man. You see, Massimo, inside the bread is yeah. white, it's still bread inside. Oh, but it's going to soak up the butter real good, huh? That's for the good taste. <laughs> okay. 
So these are beautiful, eh? Isn't that nice? All right, yeah, so we're gonna, perfect. the frying pan is nice and hot. Yes, now we're gonna add some butter. Butter? There's nothing like pretzels and butter. So deliciously simple. Ooh, right here. But not too colored, eh? No, that's perfect. Like that? Only color inside yes. is nice and moist. It's gonna soak up all the butter. Perfect. Oh, I love it, yeah. Tasty, crispy, and full of butter. Full of butter. That's the way we like them, eh? Right. So we put the, the crust on the top crust, like that? Just gently on top, yes. Gently on top. How, how, right. thin, how thin do you want it? Not too like, thin. Not too thin, but the butter is going to... Like that? Oh, you yeah, want to thick a little yes. bit? Okay, we press the crust on top here, gently, because it's not a sponge, right? I mean, you can't just press it down. All the juices are going to come out. It's not going to be good. So... But we're gonna put a nice quarter-inch layer of uh, crust on top of this. Good. All right, Claudia. Right. Go ahead. Put it in the salamander. salamander. You're not gonna need me to do that, do you? No. The salamander toaster will make the crust nice and crispy, just the way it should be. This was the last step before we could start plating and eating. Beautiful. Like this, huh? Yeah. Then we're gonna add the cabbage. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's dried up nicely, eh? It's dried up. It's creamy. It's a nice it's shine creamy, on. Yeah. Yes, it's creamy. Yeah. So I thought you would use it as a propping up of the meat. Yeah, a few more. They're good yes, for you. can be, huh? Yeah, they're good for you. Perfect. <laughs> One of the last items that we put on the plate was this beautiful sauce that Claudio made. This is a great sauce. This is a, a reduction made with stock, made out of the bones of the ibex with vegetables in it, lots of wine. Beautifully reduced over a long period of time, let's say six, seven hours, slowly simmering until you get a perfect reduction. So now the eye back. Oh. So that's a beautiful little dish. Huh? Ibex was cooked to perfection. Now there's only one thing missing. Me eating it. So Massimo. Can't wait. Wait a minute. Let me taste this stuff first. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. And saving the Ibex. Mm. Oh, the bread is so good. So now you're ready to taste a good oh, meal yes. we made together, the Ibex. Oh yeah. Mm. Good. I was expecting something really gamey, like smell like goat, you know? Yeah. But this is really delicious. That's what I it's told you. It's tender, it's mild, and really tasty. You know, the cabbage is great, the, the what do you call it, the serviette and uh, canero? Yes. Awesome. Really a good dish. Thank you very much, really. Thank you, Monsieur. Thank you for having me here. All right. Salute. Salute. Sunday. 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 Okay. It sounded like I was always saying Gesundheit. Zermatt is a great year-round international resort in the heart of the Alps. And there are many good reasons to come here. First, the village is car-free, so the air is super clean. Then you have all of these great mountains with hiking trails and snow trails. And don't forget the hotels. They are incredibly nice too, with great restaurants in them. And thanks to Claudio, I had my very first experience with Ibex meat. Man, was it good. Buon appetito.